Hello guys, hey, welcome to another episode of Two Fat Guys in the Movies, and me and Mr. J went and saw the uh, Deadpool Wolverine Street um, trailer in 3D. Yeah, we went and saw it in 3D, and we also saw Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Can't say another time or we're in trouble. And then we left. We left the theater after that. Yeah. There was no other movie we watched. We didn't see anything else. We just left. Yep. We just left. No, guys, we saw Godzilla, X-Kong, The New Empire, and what'd you think? I don't I mean, First and foremost, the major nitpick I have was like, what the fuck are you going to get a giant gorilla and a giant iguana? Well, they were, they spent, they spent several years casting. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I like, so what do you do? You get an iguana and like a gorilla to like, to, like fight on like, and then you think, oh, okay, we we'll put it on green screen, and then we're gonna make it like a big city behind him and make him look huge. Yeah, that's how, I, that's I don't, how Hollywood I don't does that thing. And then, then they give him a transformer arm. <laughs> I was gonna say bionicle, but uh, yeah, uh, no, what you really think of it? Like, I mean, obviously, it's uh, it's not Godzilla minus one, and it's not gonna be anything remotely like what you would call it, like guy stomping around in a giant rubber costume. Yeah, well, even 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 though it, it it's meant to be ridiculous and silly, it was. It was fine. I mean, yeah, I, I felt I felt like I felt like this one spent way more time with Kong than the last one did, which I I, I, I thought well, was okay. I thought it was pretty good because we all know Kong carried that picture too, and it's like, ugh. And you know, she's like, 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 no, I'm not, I'm not doing another fucking movie with this guy. Okay, <laughs> I, no. But like, how about we give you some more screen time, oh. Mister K? And like, like the I, one thing, the one thing that was. The one thing that is kind of odd is I feel like it's funny because the movie is titled Guts, like, you know, last one was titled Godzilla X Kong or Godzilla versus Kong, you know, and this one was Godzilla and basically Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. I feel like Godzilla's kind of taking a backseat in both of those movies. He didn't do a whole, I mean, he did a lot, but it was just kind of like, oh, there's this thing going on and then okay, what's going on? There's like, there's message coming from the hollow earth and then Godzilla's like freaking out again and he goes and just, he just goes and kills some dude or some other Titan just kills him and just takes his lair and then absorbs all his energy and then basically uh, evolves. Because, because, because he, he was powering up for that fight, I guess, you know, so. Which was odd because he was, because if he was feeling that and then when Kong showed up to kind of like, hey, I need you. And remember... Remember last time when you're getting hand, you're getting you're getting your your tail handed to you. Remember what happened? You come help me out. And Godzilla was like, Nah, man, nah, bro. I, I, you got footage? It, 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 you any footage of that? It's, it's basically like you know, like uh, hello, uh, oh, we're we're gonna fight in the desert and destroy some pyramids. Hello, sun, Transformers, Dark of the Moon. No, <laughs> well, not Dark of the Moon. <laughs> Revenge, Revenge of the Fallen. Fallen. And just falling. I didn't watch a whole lot of like content people put out about like theories or just like you know about the movie coming out. I was literally just watched the first trailer, and I saw the second trailer, and I think I might have saw like a couple like a TV spot or just like some kind of variations of the trailers with maybe some you, new footage. And then what'd you do? You ran the store and bought all the toys. Like, oh, I, I'm some guy. I with bought a, all the toys. I'm a guy with a, some kind of weird spine whip. I'm going. I wonder what it's for. Is it a belt? It <laughs> but me. so so there's a lot of that was. I was presently surprised by this movie because there was a lot of things that surprised me. Like I didn't. I I. I I went into this movie thinking, okay, Scar King is the villain, but then there's like this secret villain, and he was basically just Scar King's bitch the entire time. Like they made, like they made out of whatever Somo, Shomo, I don't know, whatever Frost, Frostilla. Uh, they made him out to be like this, this like huge threat, and that's why oh, it's really why they had to team up. And then he literally was just being controlled by this crystal, which was never explained, which is completely fine. And then once it was destroyed, he just kind of like switched sides instantly. And there, and well, then, would, why wouldn't he? Because he was basically being tortured. Yeah, would you have like, hey, you tortured me for like forever and ever. Like, I'll still be your friend. Why not? No. <laughs> right, exactly. So, I mean, I wasn't surprised by that at all. I, it was as a, as a little, disa I was a little disappointed with the, with the fight, the final fight. I felt like if it was too CGI, you know, not enough practical effects. <laughs> Actually, no. Actually, uh, you know what actually bothered me the most about this movie? It wasn't very 3D. Why do you want to go to 3D? Oh, because I wanted to see the fights in 3D. And I don't think, I don't think any of the monster fights were in 3D. Well, 
Well, the human, their human stuff was in 3D, and there was some human stuff that wasn't in 3D. If you got, if anybody who actually watches these, if you uh, watched it in 3D, like, let me know in the comments. Like, maybe it's because I've seen movies with heavy CG, like Spider Man and like uh, Oz, and very much the movie was in C was in 3D. So I was kind of confused why there was some stuff. I was like watching it, and I kind of went like this, and I was like, it, I okay, it looks the same. That was like that was more of a nitpick of the 3D than than of the actual film itself. What was better than the better than the Avengers in 3D was what you see over oh, the fish tank. It's in 3D. I never saw Avengers in 3D, so I, I did. Couldn't, I couldn't compare it. But overall, the the subtext, the New Empire, I felt like was misleading, and I didn't feel like there was any there was no threat. I didn't feel any threat from the Scar King at all. No, but I mean like like what like. So, like, when Mechagodzilla showed up and started whooping Godzilla's butt and even whooped Kong's butt, I was like, how are they going to win this? Like, it, like, it felt more like, it felt like the stakes were a little, like, for the, for what was going on was high. Well, this one, I was just like, let's, let's the minute it. they got up to Hollow, the minute they left Hollow Earth, I was like, they're just going to get their butt whipped. He's just going to get his butt whipped. Let's, just, let's put it this way. Like, basically, Kong and, you know, Godzilla, I mean, we're faces. Mechagodzilla's the heel. He's the one who's like, beating up on you when the ref's back's turned. Oh, but like the ref turns and like, it's like, you know, conquer right. get in like, ref's like, whoa, 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 you gotta get out, man. He's bringing that up because Godzilla did do a suplex on the film. <laughs> no, no, no. Or, uh, Kong did. Or, was it Kong? Yeah, no, so it was Godzilla. No. It was, it was Godzilla that no, did the backflip. He did it and then he grabbed, God, he grabbed Godzilla and flipped him over his back. Okay, it looked like it was Godzilla Whatever. doing it, but anyways, and then he goes like, "Oh, I, you should have done this," you know. Yeah, it would have been hilarious if Godzilla got up. No, it wasn't that Godzilla. It's Kong. It was Kong's two clutch him. Okay, well, I thought it was Godzilla. But it doesn't matter. Like, there was all, a lot of stuff going on at the same time, but no, I thought I thought the movie, as sad as this is, it wasn't as enjoyable as the last one. Even though I feel like this one spent way more time on the kanjus, like like more like mainly you know kaiju, kaijus. <laughs> You're thinking, you're thinking of kanji, yes. No, oh, I feel like it, it, it spent way more time like on like Kong, and given that Kong was in the Hollow Earth, there was no um, humans around really. I do feel like Mothra oh, was there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I do feel like I do feel like the whole Mothra thing kind of came out of left field. Yeah, the whole mind Mothra, why bring her back? Well, I... you, you, didn't, you didn't catch it, did you? No, I didn't. It said Mon Mothra. You know what's from? No. Holy shit. Really? No. Many bosses have died to bring us this information. I don't want you to say it. <laughs> still don't know? And I still don't know. Revenge of the Jedi. Yeah, I know it's Revenge of the Jedi. You, you're just like the meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course it was Revenge of the Jedi. Yeah, his first is just Star Wars. Jedi, it's Jedi Star Wars. does not, uh, do not, do not crave do. revenge. Revenge. Uh, but no, like, I heard you go, ah, like when they were basically making the girl, like, so, in the original Godzilla vs. Mothra, there were these, like, twins. I don't know, I can't remember if it was three of them or two of them. Two. There was twins. It would be twins. Two of them. Yeah. I, 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 I'm saying, I don't remember if it was triplets or twins. I don't remember. Well, but if, but if, I think it was if, twins. If the meme were here, he'd be meme explaining it all to us. Probably would be. But anyways, there were there were these people that, you know, generations, and they were, the, like, the gatekeepers of Mothra and all that stuff like that. And they kind of teased that, and I think it was King of the Monsters they teased it. Or the, or no, maybe it was. Yeah, it was King of the Monsters. The the one girl, like oh, like her, she her she was like third generation. Her grandmother or her mom was a twin, and her grandparents were a twin. And it kind of like like when I remember watching, I was like, oh, I get it. They're kind of referencing yeah, Mothra. But you remember it was there was one twin at one place, and then right they had, there was the two of them in that one too. Right. That's what. Yeah. So I like I I I thought that was like interesting that they they teased that. But then, like, I felt like they retconned it, maybe? I don't know. I will say this. I was worried about the movie when it came to Godzilla. Because some of the toys, and sometimes toys spoil things. And sometimes they release toys that have nothing to do with the movie. But there was this toy. It was called Godzilla Evolved. There's, like, different versions of it. But there was one that has, like, a giant shell. And you ripped it open and Godzilla came out of it with the with the... I guess with pink colored fins. I, I don't know. I just remember seeing it. And I it. saw that. I was like, oh my God. Are they going to make it where Godzilla sheds his skin? Which I, I guess would be okay. So I was waiting for it. I was waiting for him to rip out and be like, you turn it into like, you know. Or, oh yeah. Oh, no. oh, I'm sorry. You, you was bitching about a car ride back that 
Like, oh my god, I can't believe guys gonna transition from male to female. That's, that's just went from blue what? to went from, went from blue what? to blue to, went from blue to pink, man. What? That's it. Because he absorbed that TMX. <laughs> I know, I know. He, he went Super TMX. Saiyan Rosa. This is what he did. He went. Uh, he absorbed Tiamat's um, radiation, which is the thing was pink or whatever. It was like this, like solar energy or something, or nuclear. Anyways, um, I I'm kind of glad I, they didn't do that. I don't need you to mansplain. Okay, man. damn. I'm kind of glad they didn't do that whole like ripping his skin thing off because I think that would have been kind of. It's just weird. a gimmick for the toy, bro. I, I and that's what I was like. Yeah, that's why I mentioned. That's why I said what I said. But anyways, and now you're mansplaining toys to people. I am. I'm to you because okay. I just. Anyways, yeah, I don't need to. He's in a mood today. I don't need to mansplain he toys. He, yeah, he's gonna mansplain everyone. Uh, but yeah, and the other thing that I will that I will point out, and this is not really a related to the film itself. This is more related to the movie theaters. Please stop releasing the merchandise for the films weeks before the film comes out. What movie did we go see when you were debating on which, like, you got one of the ten? They were out of the Godzilla one, right? Oh, yeah, you got, got the Kong one, right? What movie did we go see? Was it was it Madame Web? No, it wasn't Madame no. Web. It was after Madame Web. It was imaginary, wasn't it? Yeah, so okay, so, and that was two weeks ago. That was roughly two weeks ago we saw that movie. Because then we saw Ghostbusters. Oh, when we saw Man and Web, they had Ghostbuster. Because remember, you had a Ghostbuster cup. And the thumbnail. Yeah, also, I think... No, that's the time I just bought just the uh, cup. Just well, you just got the cup, but I think the next time we actually... You, I, I think you got no, Slimer. No, the, that's the time before that. Or the time before that, yeah. But the point I'm bringing out is, is that we went in there to see this film. This is opening weekend. They had, they barely had any tens left. I bought another ten just because I don't like, I just whatever. But they didn't have any cups. They didn't have any more cups. Jesus, that's being petty. It is being petty because okay, okay. So imagine you know, here, here's 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 my nitpick about the movie theater. I had to wait a minute for my uh, pretzel bites. Oh, that's that's way yeah. too long. Oh my god. But no, this is a, it's just a, it's, it's a nitpick for the for the theater. And I bet you, I bet you a lot of theaters do this. And I get it. They got it. They 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 make a lot of the money off the merchandise. I get it. But here's the thing. Imagine if you're like, oh, the only movie I want to go see is Godzilla X Kong, and so you don't go to the theater at all. And then you go opening weekend, and you see, oh, they got popcorn. You, you're like, I'm gonna get the popcorn tin in the cup, and you get there, and they're like, oh, we're sold out of that stuff. Or you see, oh, they have these really cool like monarch little tins. I want to get one. You show up to the theater, and they're they've been sold out for a week now. It's called you snooze, you lose. Besides, everybody knows they do that now. Right. I do, I'm just saying. I wish they would stop doing that. Well, you don't. But anyways, that's you just, don't. You don't have enough of an audience to tell them to stop. Oh, sh You're not going to tell corporate. I'm going to tell them big if enough people complain about it. Something no, nothing will happen. Nope, and nothing will happen. But no, I I will I will say this. Uh, they actually did come into the theater and gave us posters, which I thought was pretty cool that they. So, you know, you know, one negative to a positive, so. Yeah, the guy came running, hey, yeah, you nerds want a poster? Yeah. That's what this guy does. Yeah, I, he got one too. It's, the movie was fine. It basically delivered I want. I wanted to see a bunch of monsters fight, destroy cities. Jump off. Kill of thousands of people without any thought because there's that one oh, scene where oh, you go the water and hitting like the over bridges in Rome, was it Rome or Italy they were yeah. in. But no, I, I did think about that. I wonder how much destruction they're actually going to show in this film. I think a lot of people don't real, a lot of people well, don't be, know that this is like, there's not a real Godzilla roaming this, the earth. Let's put right this now. way. Let's put this way. Um, there are no more pyramids in uh, Egypt. No, there's, no, there's one At left. least in the Cairo area. There's one left. They threw a smash over there. They <laughs> smashed the crap And uh, Howard, if you're planning on visiting the Coliseum, don't. 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 Godzilla's, don't. It's Godzilla's new bed. It's a, he's like a cat. Or a dog. You know, it's like a pet bed. Yeah, it's just a giant. The, the, the Roman Colosseum's his pet bed. I did think. Uh, there was no post credit scene or mid credit scene or anything like that. Uh, we did. We do have a thing now that we stay all the way to the end now. Just because he doesn't want to hear about it. But uh, right. you did mention that maybe him going to the Coliseum. Well, I'm saying that could have been. Like, could have been a mid credit scene. People would be like, oh, guys, stay till I stay through all those credits just for that. Yeah. People so like, yeah. um, when I was like, I was just like checking real quick to see basically what I read was they were like, well, if this, it, it's basically they're doing these movies. Like if this movie does well, they'll make a, they'll, they'll start working on another one. So I don't think they really have any plans on where they would go with this. They, they, might, they might have an idea, but I feel like they had enough foresight to think that maybe this would be the last one. And so they're not going to like tease something. No, I, I thought the movie was fun. It was a dumb, fun, 
you know, action movie, you know, you just want to shut your brain off. I mean, I, I am kind of, I do like enjoy some of the, some of the stuff that they go on about this. Um, There's a lot of little things that were said in the beginning of the movie. I thought was hilarious. Like when he was doing his podcast and he was, and he was putting an advertisement in and he was mentioning about Titan insurance. So it's like got to the point where like the world's like, they're just there now. And like, now you have companies popping up. Like, do you need Titan insurance? Do you know, the guns will destroy your car. You know, did he blow up your house? You know, these your street block been ripped up by Godzilla? You know, so I thought that was pretty, I know, right? I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, other than that, I, I mean, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. You know, it's just a fun movie. I, I will flat out say that if you call yourself a vegan, you shouldn't be eating fish. That is meat. Yeah, it is meat. Yeah. Anyways. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. You know? Yeah, I, uh, Good for I mean, like I said, I've, I'm not invested in any of the characters. I have to go to the movies and have fun, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, except for Madame Web, like I said the, <laughs> the uh, four pairs of breasts kind of running and bouncing. The only and it's been done better. <laughs> uh, but no, I will. Well, however, I do wonder if they do a porn parody, would that be better? I probably would. <laughs> Something to search down the road because I'm sure. Oh my god, sure not, I'm sure someone's someone's not. already working on it. But no, uh, the only the only like complaint that i've ever heard about these movies that the human character is the weakest part i feel like the human characters were vastly downgraded in this one they were only there enough to, to for what they needed to say they're, or do they're, and then they're they moved enough on. to get the, the, the story moving on like, like oh hey well kong needs to go get you know godzilla's help as opposed to you could have like the whole movie and he's like the fuck are they saying yeah i mean I mean, I kind of like the, the like first like twenty minutes of the movie was basically just Kong just chilling. Yeah, and worrying about his uh, tooth, and then that was funny. That was funny. And like, <laughs> he's just like, really? Did I just do that? One thing that I feel was a was a misstep for this movie, and I I kept saying it, like the minute I found out who the villain was or the Scar King, I was like, watch, King Kong will defeat the Scar King, and then that will give him the title of King Kong. Now, granted, they might have still done that because at the end of the film, he shows up on that, you know, ice little ice Zilla's back, you know, and then he's like, you know, and then he roars and, and all the other all the other apes are like, because he, he, he's freed them because um, they all because they all got well, he freed them all. And so, like, I could see them be like, you're now King Kong. But I was kind of hoping they'd say it in the movie. Or would like, what be, the human characters say now he's King Kong? Or would it be since a Scar King would it be Kong King? No, I would think it'd be King Kong because that's oh, okay, so the official really good. title. But yeah, I could see I could see where you're going with that. Yeah, fucking nerds. I know. Also, uh, yeah, actually Godzilla's breath is actually an atomic uh, ray that he generates inside his body and then he bursts out of his mouth. So, oh, uh, fuck you. That was really good, actually. He has a podcast all over. He talks all about that nerd stuff. I have a podcast about podcasts from Ghostbusters. Oh. <laughs> I write, I write fanfic about he it. He has four subscribers. <laughs> his episode, his show really took off after episode one thirty two. I tell you right oh, now, you follow all those many episodes with no viewers. Here, here's let me, let me put it this way. Um, you, you're going on about how they had a podcast and the lucky character were in there. Yeah. Um, it's because it was summer vacation, so that's why they were interning, if you will. Oh, in the last one. Yeah. You're right. They were. Like, well, I don't know why those characters really. Yeah, I mean, that's, well, I mean, it's really, I, I understood why because they're probably so teenagers. Is like, well, no, why but, would they yeah, be but, there? You know, but, but, but because it was because it was June. It's hot. You know, kept saying how hot it was, and they were interning. So Lucky was interning for uh, Winston's, you know, group, and then well, Lucky just you know since Ray was his, you know, only his one of his, his subscriber. Right. Well, no, I understood. I understood that. No, it's one of those things. But I, you talked about how you were they there, and I. And also, after a while, I was like, oh, that's because it was summer vacation. And they yeah. Were, you know, well, yeah. So, I mean. I mean, basically, if you're like a town that, you know, had nothing to going on, that, you, you know, and now that, you know, ghost got busted there, they're like, eh, I'm going to go to yeah. New York. But yeah, I like, I thought the movie was fun. It was enjoyable. And uh, go see it. <coughs> maybe they'll make, uh, if it makes enough money, maybe they'll make another one. And, and then we'll get Godzilla and Kong. You know, the romantic comedy. <laughs> Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, you can just click on somewhere over here and or over uh, there, or over right there, here. down here. And uh, until next time.